Hey, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about VR audio support in Adobe Audition CC. Yes, that's right. Virtual reality audio formats are now supported in Adobe Audition CC from version 2018 onwards. Let me give you some examples here. First of all, I've got a, a voiceover recorded in stereo, just the left and right channels there. Um, but you'll notice if you're eagle-eyed, when you go to save audio in Adobe Audition, uh, there's a few extra options here, particularly in Wave PCM. It used to just be .wav and .bwf, but now we've got .rf64, uh, which is a kind of multi-channel uh, European broadcasting standard file. Uh, but then more importantly, we've got .amb, which is ambisonic audio. So ambisonic audio, <laughs> if you want to learn about this, has four channels. And you'll notice I've got some files open here with four channels and a bit depth of 24. Um, let me show you a little bit more. So I'll copy this voice over here and go to uh, a blank AMB file, uh, which is the same quality, by the way, as a WAV file. That's why it goes under the WAV PCM inside Adobe Audition. But you'll see I've got these different channels here, W, X, Y, and Z, or Z, if you're from the other side of the pond. Um, and what's fantastic is that you can record all around a 360 degree sphere and play it back to someone inside virtual reality and have something go all around their head. Uh, so ambisonic audio, it's really the way it's going. And you might want to look into the Zoom H2N, which can apparently record in this quality. And also a new ambisonic microphone that looks really good from Sennheiser as well. A uh, little bit of a big price tag on it at the moment, uh, but definitely the way things are going. So let me just uh, plug this in. Now, you know, it only goes onto one track. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute off the other two tracks. Uh, like so. Let's just grab that track there, track W, and then we'll go to track X and paste this, and then we'll go to track Y and track Z, and then what I can do is I can go into each track and I can delete the bits that I don't want, like so. So I'm just deleting that bit and that bit, and then onto track Y, and I'm going to delete this bit, and this file that I'm creating now in virtual reality, if you listen to it, if you maybe mix down a video to go along with this, it would have the illusion that I'm going all around your head. Now, if I play it back, you'll see waveforms moving down here, but you won't see uh, or hear anything. It'll just be silent, but you can see suddenly the different channels are popping up as I'm speaking, which indicates the audio is going around a 360 Sophia. So how do you hear the audio then if, uh, if you're playing with virtual reality audio inside Adobe Audition? Well, you would go into your preferences menu, uh, whether you're in, uh, if you're on a Mac, it's just up here, Audition CC, preferences, audio channel mapping you want to go to. A PC, it's slightly different, but uh, go to the preferences and you'll see here that there are assignments here for the left and right channel. Got them assigned to uh, a nice stereo fader on my mixing desks, stereo seven and eight at the moment. But then if you scroll down, you'll eventually find, you should find after all of these wonderful uh, channels, uh, you've got ambisonic audio channels, W, X, Y, and Z. And as you can see, uh, in my setup, they're unavailable. That's why I can't hear anything. So if I assign W to channel seven, and we'll do channel eight, uh, let's do channel 9 and channel 10. So that means I need to have two faders open. Uh, and ideally, what you would do is you would have these hooked up to uh, maybe a few speakers surrounding you so you can really listen to it. Or even better, you get something like the Oculus Rift headset or HTC Vive, something like that, put it on and listen in headphones uh, to really get the full experience. But let's just have a test right now. You can't catch me because I'm all... And, oh, we couldn't hear the uh, the second part of that uh, because I didn't have USB return. Let's try again. You can't catch me because I'm all around your head. Now, of course, if you're listening in stereo, you would have heard that go left to right. Um, but in virtual reality, you get an even better uh, feeling of really being there. And a uh, place I'd advise you to go to, somewhere I was exploring ambisonic audio files. They've been around for a, a lot longer than uh, you might believe. Um, if you go to ambisonic.info, this is where I picked up a beautiful uh, recording of uh, a concert. And you can see it's been recorded in full 360 degree ambisonic uh, audio. It's just amazing. And if you really want to get a feel for how it can sound, how it can feel inside virtual reality, um, then definitely go to ambisonic.info to investigate more. But I hope this gives you a gateway into virtual reality audio. And if you'd like to see me cover more about VR audio on my channel, do comment below this video and let me know what you'd like to hear about.